So hi, it's Melanie here, and today I'm very lucky I get to interview Thomas Fegan. He is a Democratic politician. He is a, was in the Iowa State Senate from 2001 to 2003, and we're very lucky to have him running in 2016, and he is an incredible Bernie supporter. So welcome today. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you. Again, your thoughts on campaign finance reform. Sure. Um, Political Magazine just reported as part of the omnibus end of the year spending bill that there was a $1 billion tax break that was embedded in it for Las Vegas casinos. And political cited that has proof that literally everything in Washington, D.C. is for sale. And so one of the things that Bernie talks about and I agree wholeheartedly with is we've got to clean up our corrupt campaign finance system. It was cited as further proof that everything in Washington, D.C. is for sale now. And it's for sale to the high bidder. It's not about one person, one vote. It's what Bernie calls the oligarchy. The oligarchs own the government. Tell me your thoughts on water quality and local food. One of the big problems we're facing in Iowa is that our drinking water has got high levels of nitrate, and it also has high levels of ag chemicals. Our largest city, Des Moines, has uh, filtration equipment that is being pushed to the limit, and it's removing nitrates at two and three times the safe drinking limit set by the EPA. And uh, when testing is done, part of it is ag fertilizers, part of it is livestock manure, and um, the, the question is who should pay? And there's a number of politicians, including one of the other people running the Democratic primary for U.S. Senate, that says we should pay for this by raising the sales tax and having the taxpayers pay for it. I disagree. I think the people who are doing the pollution should be doing the cleanup. I think that we need to put it on our farmers to clean up our water. We have in Iowa, Melanie, about 88,000 farmers. The best is about 20 percent of them are actually doing the polluting. So we've got 17,000 farmers who are in essence poisoning 3 million of us. And it's a very, very serious problem. Uh, we've had instances in cancers in Iowa related to egg chemicals. And it's to the point that the people that know say enough is enough. We, we need to have clean water. We need to have the people who are doing the polluting clean up the water. How local food ties into that is that our farmers have gone to what's called monoculture, one crop, corn, and they've been growing corn on corn, and it's required much more fertilizer, many more chemicals. And one of the things I propose to address that is to get away from growing just corn and start growing food again. Back in the 1920s, Iowa actually led the nation in both tomato production and apple production. And there's a study that was done by the Humane Society that concluded that all of the food in the United States could be grown within 100 miles of where it's consumed. And one of my proposals is to go back to local food. And this is something that a lot of us Bernie supporters can definitely get behind. And I think it's so exciting to be able to talk to you here online um, to get these messages out, which I think are just so mainstream, so many of us want it. And unfortunately, we're not getting these messages. So um, why is it that you support Bernie? In my day job, Melanie, I'm a bankruptcy lawyer. I do bankruptcy organizations. I deal with people who are in financial distress. Everything Bernie talks about in terms of income equality, in terms of a rigged economy, in terms of job loss to NAFTA, CAFTA, all of those things are exactly true. They resonate with what I see in my daily life. And I agree with him that if we don't fix that problem, if we don't fix all of those economic issues, we're not going to have a democracy anymore. We're not going to have an American economy that the way it's going now, it's unsustainable. And um, he, he, is, he is telling it like it is. And it's reflected here in Iowa. I've been at five events of his this last week. Every one of them was standing room only. I mean, as big of the venue was, and I kept saying to his staff in Iowa, you guys need bigger venues. <laughs> we were in school today, and I'm telling you, People were about to pass out because they had so many people jammed in the room, but everybody was there to hear Bernie. And he does these town hall meetings where people ask him the question and he lays it out. And uh, 
he's the only politician I have ever heard that calls it the way it is. I mean, he doesn't sugarcoat it. You know, he does the BS people. Um, you know, I've said to his staff guys, you guys are doing a great job here in Iowa. We need to win. Bernie needs to become president so that we save our country. <laughs> Yes, and we know Bernie can't do it alone, so that's why I'm really excited to meet you and, and meet people like you. So what is the best way that we can support you? Um, one of the things, go to my website, uh, www.veganforusenate.com. Um, there's an Act Blue link on there. If you can contribute $5, $10, that, that helps. Um, I tell people I'm a poor farm boy, so <laughs> I don't know any billionaires, so money helps. Um, the other thing is some people from California have agreed to do some phone banking and we provided some list of voters in Iowa. Um, you can volunteer through the website. Uh, my communications director is forwarding to us, you know, names of people that want to volunteer. Um, and you can always come out to Iowa and door knock, although <laughs> this time of year it's pretty cold. Most people from California no couldn't bring enough love. But um, <laughs> certainly Act Blue, uh, certainly phone banking. Are things that you guys can do remotely for me. All right. Okay. Well, I encourage everybody to do that. Um, well, thank you so much, Thomas, for being here today. And um, I look forward to uh, helping you and supporting you and uh, seeing where we go with this in 2016. It's very exciting.